CorvetteWebCentral.com Your course to everything Corvette. Inform, inspect, and be knowledgeable. Corvette is the longest running car nameplate in automotive history. Not the Model T, not the Mustang, not the Porsche 911, not the Toyota Corolla, not these cars that seem like they've been around forever. The car that has the longest continuous running production is the Chevrolet Corvette. So 60 years. Um, I'm actually, I'm curious because um, I was present when we did the 50th anniversary. Went down to Nashville. How many folks participated in that event? Quite a few. So I'm glad to see you all still around. Uh, enjoying uh, the Corvettes through the 60th anniversary. And so uh, we have a couple things to show you here. Carl and I will be doing a detailed presentation uh, along with Craig Sass from the interior and Kurt Benya on the exterior. Uh, tomorrow I think it's from 12 to 1 uh, in the theater. Uh, so we'll show you all the, the visuals and give you all the background on the car in there. But we thought we'd give you an overview because we've got the cars parked out here. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that the 60th anniversary car is white. Um, how many people notice that? <laughs> that I, the reason I ask is how many of you were here at the 50th anniversary is because I remember distinctly uh, a lot of comments that people expected the 50th anniversary, why didn't you do a white exterior, red interior, just like the 53? Why didn't you do that? And we answered at the time, well, red is super popular. You know, everybody likes a red car, so we wanted to do a, a variant of red uh, on that car. But we kind of tucked it away. You know, there was this big hole for white and uh, kind of our heritage back to the 53 car. So we thought, well, why not? Why not do uh, a white car? And uh, as you can see from these cars, uh, we've done a lot more than just do a white car. Um, the interior is maybe my favorite part. We got the new seats. Uh, from last year that we brought out in 12 and then we got uh, a really nice blue interior and a lot of suede accents that people like we've done that on special models uh, for the last couple of years so we loaded the car up with suede so everywhere you touch the car it's really uh, very pleasant to touch and uh, even when you get a little warm and sweaty it feels really nice and even when it's really cold uh, it feels really nice too so you can see the 60th anniversary package with the uh, the gray stripe running down the, the center, and you can get that on any Corvette model. Uh, but probably what most people will connect in their mind uh, with the 60th anniversary is uh, something else we're doing special, which is bringing you the 427 engine in an open air configuration. That's another thing, you know, we talk about listening to customers, and we've had that pull pretty much since we brought the Z06 and the LS7 uh, engine out. You know, why can't I get a convertible? That's what I really want. I want the best of the best. I want that motor, high torque, high revving, small block engines, and I want the open air driving experience. And uh, we've stubbornly refused to give you that for all these years. But for the 60th anniversary, uh, we're putting that package together and making it available either in the anniversary, the special anniversary of colors, or any colors you want. And when you get that, you get some uh, really good extras uh, with it. You can see you got the, the, what we call the B92 hood. So the lightest hood uh, we know how to make. Uh, the visible carbon, you know, full carbon hood, carbon interior uh, inside of the hood. So we really tried to put kind of the best of the best uh, in this car. You get the magnetic selective ride, you get the big wheels and tires. Um, this car is not, um, like a Z06 convertible, it's not tuned the same way. It's a little more laid back. You know, the uh, Z06 is intended to be a uh, track weapon. It's uh, maybe our most edgy car, it's most balanced, it's a high performance car. So this car is not really that philosophy. It's uh, more of a grand touring car, but with the spirit uh, of that engine and then the capability uh, of that chassis. So it's kind of our best hardware, all put together in a convertible uh, with that engine. and. Uh, the sum of the car is really more than the sum of the parts. Uh, we were kind of surprised ourselves when we put the, the car together and started driving it on back roads and a lot of folks in the development team were saying, you know what, this is the best Corvette we ever did. It just came together uh, really spectacularly. You got all the good uh, open air experience, 
and then that willing drive line uh, is just a riot. So that's kind of the overview. I want to give you a summary. Uh, Harlan is here to uh, fill you in on, on some of the other details, and I'll come back. Okay, thanks. Um, so like Ted said, the you know, 16th anniversary is very special. You know, the white car, blue interior. Um, car over there with the top up, you can see for the first time uh, we've done a special convertible top where the stripes are actually stitched into the top. I think we're the first ones to ever do something like that. So that makes it really special. Uh, it has a stripe package going through. So, so that was the car that um, we've been showing. We showed at the Chicago Auto Show. We had it at Sebring. We had it at Barrett Jackson. The first car went for over six hundred. Went for six hundred thousand dollars at Barrett Jackson. Uh, for charity, and uh, but again, you know, we talk to customers all the time, and some people are like, "Well, um, I like that car a lot, but I really don't like stripes." So you can get one like this one, which doesn't same car, but without the stripes. Actually, you have to order both separately. You get the 60th anniversary, and you get the stripes. And then some of you are saying, "Well, I want a 60th anniversary." But I want a Grand Sport. Well, you can get this car right here. It's a Grand Sport, uh, 60th anniversary. And you could also get the uh, coupe and convertible as a 60th anniversary. But you know what? I, I want a uh, ZR1 60th anniversary. And you know what? I want it with the uh, cup tires, you know, and the cup wheels. Well, we've got one at the end here with the machine cup wheels, and there's one at that end with the black pump wheels. Or you want a Z06 with the Z07 package, carbon fiber brakes, pump tires, kind of the ultimate 60. You get that too, get one of those down there. But then some people are like, well you finally did a LS7 427 convertible. I don't, but I don't want a white car. Why do I have to get a white car? Well you don't have to get a white car. You can get in any color you want. It's actually now our seventh model in the Corvette lineup is the 427 convertible. And uh, for example, we got some back there. There's a uh, Velocity Yellow 427 convertible. There's a Torch Red one. And uh, so you can get it with whatever color you want, any of the 10 colors. And then some say, well, you know, these wheels are really cool, you know, 19s and 20s. That comes with the Michelin PS2 tire standard. Uh, comes with magnetic ride control standard, and uh, some people like these wheels. But you know what would be really cool if you could get the Chrome Zero One Twenty spoke wheels on, on the on that car. Well, you can. There's the, the yellow car over there. And you get it with yellow brakes and yellow stitching. So we really have a lot of different ways that you can configure your car. Now, some people are saying, you know, I had a. 67 or 69 427 convertible and remember you used to have the black stripe on the hood you know raised hood so we have that option you can get a uh, heritage package which comes with the black stripe on the raised carbon fiber hood and special uh, 427 logos on the uh, floor mats that's another package that you can get so we really have a lot of things now everybody's saying what is this car going to cost is this going to be hundred thousand dollar car you know so so first that we did get our uh, pricing approved and um, I'm here to tell you that the 427 convertible will start at 75925 and to get a fully loaded anniversary convertible with the, in the blue interior the carbon fiber ground effects that you can get as an option, CFC package, and uh, again, it's, it's the wrapped interior. So to get that, the full anniversary package, it would just cross over about 90000 So it's not going to be a six-figure car, it's not inexpensive, but it's, uh, I think, a lot more reasonable than people thought. You know, basically, the Z06 price range um, is where it will be. So um, one other thing, too. Okay, so your friends, you know, you're into Corvettes, you might have some friends, maybe they drive some other types of sports cars, uh, you know, from other countries or whatever, and they're saying, okay, well, I don't really care about the Corvettes having a 60th anniversary, it's a meaning thing to me. 
what you can tell them is that this 427 convertible power to weight ratio is better than a Porsche 911 uh, turbo cabriolet. It's better than a Ferrari California convertible and better than an Audi R8 V10 Spider convertible. So better power to weight ratio in the Corvette than any of those exotic sports cars. So another, just on performance alone, it's really a great package. And it comes with the dry sum system, battery in the back, and all the carbon fiber hood and fenders and floor panels and things like that. Badging? Talk about the badging. Okay. The badge? Yeah, oh, talk about the badge. Because one of the things, that's a good question, good point that came up. Um, like when we did the 50th anniversary, for example, um, even if you don't get the anniversary package, but you get a, any 2013 Corvette, every 2013 Corvette has special badging. And actually, um, Kirk is here, and Dennis Finos is here somewhere who work, works on that. And uh, they have a special 60th anniversary badging on the car. We have sill plates that come with every 2013 car. And there's also uh, badges on the um, gauges, on the gauge cluster. So every car has a little bit of celebration of Corvette's 60th anniversary, no matter what options or models that you get. You can hear as Harlan went through that, uh, all the choices that you have. And uh, a lot of that is due to uh, input from customers. You know, it, it's a you know it's inexpensive for you again. It's a good value, but it's also a dream car for folks, and they they really want it. You guys really want it exactly the way you want it. And then a lot of you start changing it even after that. Uh, but we, uh, with our partners here at Bowling Green, are uh, trying to offer as much customization as possible, so you can get a car that's unique to your needs. Uh, maybe unique uh, amongst your friends, something that's truly special. And if we only build the one for you and it's what you want, that's great. So Arlen's the advocate uh, inside the corporation uh, to do all this stuff so you can thank him for his efforts because, you know, ideally we all, you know, General Motors would be like, like to be like, uh, you know, the Model T Ford. Just make them all black, make them all the same. Uh, from a manufacturing standpoint, that would be the, the easiest to do. Uh, but we know you guys all have different tastes and so we want to try to cater to those tastes. So uh, a lot of good choices. Uh, really sending the, the C6 off uh, with a bang in its last year, uh, celebrating the 60th anniversary the way uh, we really wanted to. We're very excited to bring it to you. In fact, uh, we're bringing it to you a little early. Uh, we're actually so excited about this. We're pulling this, the launch ahead and we're actually going to be shipping cars in June as opposed to after a traditional shutdown in uh, July. So we're starting the 13th model here early in celebration. Next week, next week we start building a uh, custom car. We build the Barrett Jackson car. Already been built. The, the car that sold the Barrett Jackson for $600,000 uh, already been built. So uh, they're coming. So and next year, I tell everybody, come back here next year and we'll tell you how we're going to celebrate the 61st anniversary of Corvette.